so hi everyone today we will be talking about how you can implement graph ai using csv so basically if you don't know graph ai has been a recent advancement over the rag framework that enables you to talk to your external documents using llms so now this external document can be a text file or it can be a pdf file graph ai is an improvement over it which instead of using vector dbs which are used in rag uses knowledge graphs or graph databases and giving you more comprehensive results so you can check out my previous videos on graph rag how it works what graph rag is how it is different from basic rag and a basic rag application in this particular use case we would be discussing how you can use a csv file for creating a graph rag application so one thing to note in this particular use case when you're using a csv directly because in this particular tutorial i won't be involving graph creation i will be just involving the graph loading and creating the qa chain over it using lang chain so basically when you are trying to use a csv file with graph ray you need to consider two major things one is the columns should be in such a way that you can you can choose two of the columns as nodes and one of the column as a relationship between these nodes so if i give you an example the csv that i'm using here is flight network of spice jet in india now if you ignore the last two columns origin destination and distance origin can be our first node of the graph destination can be the second node and distance can be the relationship between them that these two edges are this far so i won't be using the numerical distance directly i would be categorizing it first then you would be able to understand what i'm trying to say but just do make sure that the csc that you are loading has visible graph entities that is the nodes and the relationship between the nodes else you need to create a knowledge graph first that i have covered in the previous video so let's get started first of all you need to pip install all these uh, dependencies and requirements langchain experimental langchain community network x uh, langchain google genii if you are using the genii free api key that google's provide if you are using some another llm no worries json repair now once this happens you need to import a few important functions as you can see i think we did the same in the previous tutorial also where we created a graph lag application starting from a text set this time we are using a csv now you need to set up your llm very straight forward now i'm loading the data frame using the csv now the csv as i've already shown you has five columns origin destination distance and latitude longitude that i'm ignoring for now now there is a very important section where i'm converting the distance into categories near if the distance is less than 500 near short distance if less than 1000 doable distance but not very close else far away so basically now what will happen uh, in this particular use case the relationships would be defined as near short distance doable and far away between any two nodes so i think now you would have got my point so if you wish to use a csv directly with graph rag your graph your nodes and entities and relationship should be defined within the csv right some columns it's not like you need to follow a particular format but some column that you can call out that okay this can be my first node this can be my second node and this can be the relationship so once i'm done with this what i will do i will create a network x entity graph that we did last time also now there is the most interesting part as you can see i'm adding nodes to the graph so i'm adding two nodes at a time that is for while reading every row in the csv file i am first of all adding the origin city and the destination city if i open the csv again the origin so in case, first case ahmedabad and amritsar would get added as the nodes and in the second iteration that we are doing i we would be adding the edges so edges would be between it's like a triples in graph like that we call basically triples is two edges and the relationship between them so the two edges would be amrit ahmedabad amritsar relationship is 981 that would be as we have mapped it to categories it would be doable distance but not very close i think you now would have got my point so basically you need to have nodes and you need to have relationship if you have that you don't need to use any graph uh, knowledge graph creation using llms because what i am facing an issue is that knowledge graph creation is a major challenge using llms i think once you have that graph either manually or you are loading some graph database i think uh, like graph engine works quite fine so this is how we are loading the columns in the csv as nodes and edges of the graph now once we are done with this it's very easy call out the graph qa chain and pass it the llm and the graph object that we have created by passing these columns i think now it would be easier to understand just 
call out the use case. So places to visit near Hyderabad. This is the question that I'm giving. Now, if you see it goes to the graph QA chain, Hyderabad doable distance, but not very close to Jabalpur, far away Jaipur. And like this, it is able to extract all the nodes that involve Hyderabad in the graph. And finally, it is giving me an answer, Raj Mandiri, Tirupati, Vijayawada. Let me check which the answer is correct. Hyderabad, near short distance to Tirupati, so that's correct. Near short distance to Raj Mandiri, that is also correct. And near short distance to Vijayawada, that is also correct. So here you can see that now we are able to talk to our graph databases, to our CSV graph databases also in using graph rack. Talking about another query, is Varanasi distant from Mumbai? Now, this is a very interesting use case. Here you can see that it is able to identify what entities to extract and then identify the edges that it should be extracting from the graph. And eventually it got an edge where it says Mumbai far away Varanasi and it is giving a response. Yes. The third use case, which is closer, Rajkot or Leh from Mumbai. Again, it is able to identify the three entities, extracting all the edges that are associated with the three entities and giving us a final answer, Rajkot, which is also Correct. So in this way, graph rack can be very, very helpful when you're going with uh, graph database querying. And eventually, if you have a CSV, you can also use it as a graph and then implement graph rack over it as we did in this particular use case. Thank you so much. So hi, everyone. My new book, Lanchin in Your Pocket, Beginner's Guide to Building Gen A Applications Using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you so much.